We're going on a food history adventure. The Sankap 2020 event in LA was epic. You ready to taste the food, meet the chefs, and learn a bit about Filipino food and culture? Let's go. Okay, guys, we are at the El Pueblo Park Monument here in LA, and we are here for the Sangkap event. I'm super excited, so let me read it to you. Sangkap means ingredient in Tagalog, and it's a Filipino food history event that explores Filipino American history through a culinary experience. That is everything I am about. We talk about history, we get to eat food, we have 20 tasting tickets. So we got the VIP tickets, and we get to just eat all the food. I'm so excited. There's a bunch of like acclaimed Filipino chefs. So we should we should just go inside and check it out. Let's go. We got our food tickets, so we're gonna see. They also have beer, San Miguel beer. So Doug got really excited, obviously. So we have a couple of those each, and then we have 10 of these guys. Where should we go first? First stop is Chef Isa Fabro of Isa Made. We're here at Sanka. <laughs> And we're gonna give you guys some of my menu right now. We have the Lugao, crema de fruta, and we have the quinoa. I'm really excited to be at this kind of event, to be able to just connect with people through the food, but also having a chef's panel, discussing with the professor, you know, this cultural connectivity of Mexico and the Philippines as being colonies of Spain. Each chef has a unique menu, you know, due in part to just personal experience and then also, you know, finding those similarities. So I have a quinilao, which is, again, similar to ceviche, similar to poke, similar to crudo. This is with the shrimp, the way that was prepared for me by my mom when I was growing up. And, you know, this has coconut milk and it has the coconut vinegar and it has a little garnish of the calamansi, which is also from my mom's garden. I have the lugao, which is similar to juk, you know, which is similar to, uh, what's the other, there's another one. Congee. Congee, yes. yes. Uh, and then I also have the crema de fruta, which was a little bit more unique to the Philippines, but any country that has had any kind of colonialism or imperialism or occupation has a history of canned food. So crema de fruta has the canned fruit cocktail, but it's layered with a brown butter crumble and condensed milk whip. After we enjoyed Chef Isa's creations, we walked over to the next booth to see what Chef John Eric Concordia of the Park's Finest and Thunderbolt LA was whipping up. As the city continued to progress and grow, so did the food. So did the interactions amongst the people. So when we say sankap, when we talk about the ingredients, we also talk about the ingredients and the elements that made Los Angeles. So for Filipinos, it makes sense that we evolve and grow with the city that we're a part of. You cannot have Los Angeles without a Filipino. Or maybe you can, but it's not going to be Los Angeles the way we know it. So my mother's lollipop jamets, it's very similar to what you would find in Binondo, where the glaze of brown sugar, soy sauce, and water on fried chicken creates this uh, wonderful combination that my brothers and I used to just scarf down in one bite. So the lollipop drumettes is something she stopped making, but now that we have a bar, we're able to, to showcase it. The bulalo, of course, is its origins come from Batangas. Its origins mm. come from the Tagalog region. My father is from Lipa, Batangas. Originally, the Concordias are from San Pablo, Laguna. My mother is from Real Quezon. So very Tagalog, Tagalog. And bulalo, it, I mean, it's, uh, res de caldo. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's very similar, but totally on two different spectrums, but it's beef soup. So be, to be able to put that time and energy to create such a broth uh, and pair it with rice and, and smoked bone marrow, one, it showcases what we can do, especially for food events, but also the richness of the flavors of it. And of course, cornbread bibinka, and cornbread bibinka, rice flour, cornmeal, coconut cream, baked on a banana leaf, that's very American. It was something we created growing up being Filipino-American. Cornbread exists in America, bibinka exists in the Philippines. It was only created here in Los Angeles. After we enjoyed Chef John Eric's awesome menu, we visited Chef Andre Guerrero, founder of The Oinkster. 
he bought some Filipino classics that I definitely recognized. If you're Filipino and you taste it, and you say, okay, this tastes like home. And if you're not Filipino, you're certainly going to get something unique and distinctive. I wanted to do something that represents the Philippines. I'm excited about this one. There's a lot of food. I'm afraid I'm going to get full before we use up all of these tickets. There's ginataan with pumpkin and shrimp. There's an ube shake and there's a pork adobo and it smells amazing. I'm going to try the ginataan. Kabocha squash and then shrimp. Oh, it's a big piece of shrimp. There's bagoong in here. Bagoong is shrimp paste. It's just comfort food. Okay, now I'm going to try the adobo. Huge chunks of adobo. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's familiar. I love it. I love it. Makes me want to cuddle up, like I said. Comfort food. It's an ube shake. It's really good. It reminds me of when we eat halo halo and everything has melted, <laughs> including the ice cream, and I'm just drinking it up. Finally, we visited Chef Greg Berber of La Luz del Dia to get a taste of Mexican food and the similarities it shares with Filipino food. The reason we decided to choose our dishes today, carnitas, picadillo, and champurado, it's because I've noticed within my customers, uh, which are Filipino, they always request these. And after doing some research, carnitas is very much like lechon. It's pork is very important in both our cultures. Picadillo is very much like the caldarete. And the champurado is like the champurado of the Philippines. Ours is more of a drink base. From what I understand, the Filipino culture likes to have it as a rice porridge with chocolate. So the reason I wanted to highlight these, it's something that both our cultures can recognize and they have the same flavor profiles, which both cultures really like to enjoy the, that taste profile. After feasting, we learned about Filipino history and culture through food from Professor Susie Ling of Pasadena City College. And what better place to celebrate this multicultural heritage than right here in El Pueblo, where the native peoples, the Spaniards, the Chicanos, the Italians, the Croatians, and the Asians met at this very place all the decades before us. So, kamayan means to eat with your hands and it's about sharing. I learned so much from Professor Susie's informative presentation. Afterwards, we learned some more about the chefs, so I picked out some awesome bits from their talks that you might find interesting. So I've been a chef here in Los Angeles for 40 years. Uh, throughout the years, I've always added some Filipino flavor to what I do. Helping out all the young chefs here, uh, get a foothold and uh, establish uh, our wonderful cuisine. I've been working in restaurants since 2004, 2005. In 2016, I left working in restaurants and that was the first time I started really cooking Filipino food or exploring what that really meant. I learned more and more about it. It was just like, wow, this is who I am and I'm not really understanding what that means, but I'm trying really hard to understand it through the work that I'm doing. My family has been in this area since 1950. So today we're celebrating 60 years here on Olvera Street. Thank you. And I'm lucky enough to continue my family's legacy of uh, making Michoacan style food, which is carnitas, chicharron, picadillo, handmade tortillas. And I was just honored to be included in this event just to show how ingredients just travel from one culture to another and how very similar dishes can be made. So we are going to have a conversation about Los Angeles here at one of the oldest parts of Los Angeles as we hang out with Mexicans, Filipinos, Chinese, Salvadorians, and everybody else that happens to be here. We are a restaurant on Temple and Edgeware where we do American cuts of barbecue with a Filipino flavor. We have a bar next door called Thunderbolt where we cook southern inspired cuisine cooked by Mexicans, Bolton, Salvadorian, Filipinos, and one brother from Watts. And we are doing food that is distinctly Los Angeles, but very familiar to all of us. 
and that's a wrap. It was such an awesome event, and it was a fun and delicious learning experience. Really, everything was really good. We should go back and get some more hunks. Yeah, let's do it. Doug and I took uh, a little something to go. <laughs> we took some of the cornbread bibinka because it was the most portable one. So we're like, hey, let's not let these tickets go to waste. <laughs> so we're going to be chowing on these later. Anyway, Doug and I both really enjoyed the event. We can't wait for more Filipino events like this, like Filipino food events to crop up. And of course, you guys are going to find out about it because of these little videos that we're making. Till next time, guys. Peace. My my dad has gout. <laughs> and I'm the G him. unit. Yeah, I'm gonna show drink him. water and ride a bicycle. That's and walk. the only yeah, and Tell walk. Him to walk, really please. Walk. Man, you gotta sweat that uric acid out. If you do not, it, I mean, our food is so rich. You gotta sweat. If not, you're stuck in bed. Yes. Right. So you, That's him. we're mountain people. We're hiking people. We're walking people. You gotta walk, Dad. Walk, drink water, <laughs> and then you can enjoy a beer yes. and 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 pork. Thank so, you. Claudine, make sure that you bring your sister out to the park's finest and Thunderbolt. I mean, you've been hanging out for so long. You got to bring her out and hang out and 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 buy her a couple drinks and make sure that she takes cornbread bibinka home. Yeah, don't leave me behind again. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, thank Chef. You. Cool.